spin intro. Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> If you're new here how are you happy day whatever day it is i'm so glad to see you i hope you're glad to see me too it's march i don't know how the hell that happened but uh yeah it is march 6th the day of recording and i feel like when it's under the 10th day anything below the 10th day or above the 10th day is up for grabs to film your monthly reset video which is what we're doing in this video today before we get started i want to say welcome everybody my name is angelica i whoa did you did you that pitch <laughs> i film videos of whatever the fuck i get up to in my late 20s so that could be books, planning videos, DIY videos, decorating videos, vlogs, anything in that realm is is gain. So subscribe and like if that sounds like something up your alley. If you've never watched a reset video, like a monthly reset video, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And honestly, it's great to like refresh even personally. Like if you don't make content, even if you just do this on your own, it's kind of a nice way to like begin your month. Pretty much I'm going to look back at my February goals, see if I met them and if I didn't or did, and then make some goals for March. I'm also going to go over all the books that I read, give you a little synopsis, give you my thoughts on all of them, and then I think we're going to close out the video with some favorites from the month. All right. Let's get into it. So I'm going to pull up my Notion board. I have been, I kind of go back and forth with different programs, but I've been actually using this Notion board for a hot minute. So of February, I completed about two, I would say two, no, three and three quarter goals out of my, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine goals. I did like three, four-ish. Not that great. <laughs> but um, I've, most of the stuff that I didn't complete, I'm probably going to roll over to March. So what I did complete, though, is I paid off uh, my credit card. I have two credit cards. And I paid off one of them, which is really exciting. My credit score actually went up like 15 points, which is phenomenal. I was kind of shook when I saw that. Uh, car shopping, I did some research. I think I've narrowed it down. So I've try been trying to go back and forth whether I want to like get a nicer car and just have like a higher loan but then I I don't know I really want to save for trips I want to save for a future house and really I just want a car to like drive around so I think I'm actually going to get a cheaper car and so I don't have to pay as much and have a car that's still really good that I can drive around so I think I'm going to go that direction that's what I've been looking for I also had to write two chapters in my book I wrote several chapters in my book I've actually this last few months Fast, excuse me these last few weeks in February have been really amazing for me in terms of writing I really feel like I've gotten this like boost in writing I kind of want to focus my main hobby on writing and really have that be the focus of this week because of this month because I want to finish my first draft by the end of March so I need to kick it into high gear I just surpassed the halfway point um, and I've already been thinking of ways, like, I kind of want to rewrite the beginning, but I don't want to do that until I finish the first draft. And then I can go back and start to rewrite it. What I didn't do, which I am going to roll over to March, is get ahead of my taxes. I need to maybe even do my taxes this month in March. I need to, like, set a day that I do it. Maybe probably, like, a weekend a day where I can just, like focus, undistracted, do my taxes. And then I probably, like, this is probably going to compile where I'm going to make a business expense tracker um, for my content creation. Um, new savings plan, I definitely need to do that. I've kind of, like, semi-started it, but I feel like I need to, like, really get the numbers down. Try new gym. I'm actually going to delete this from my list did nike training club all february and i really liked it and it kind of made me realize what i enjoy in working out and this month of march i'm going to incorporate a lot more yoga incorporate more running and weights like those are the things that i think i'm enjoying the most in my exercise so i want to kind of do that more in march read one short story and one nonfiction book I definitely did not do that. <laughs> I started a nonfiction book and I started a short story and I did not finish them. I actually had like a pretty, 
I actually had a pretty decent reading wrap, which I'll talk about when we do our reading wrap up. Finished booking and going to doctor's appointments. I did, I have one more doctor's appointment that I need to do. I need to go to see my gynecologist. Um, I need to find a gynecologist and go see them. That's the last like checkup appointment that I need to do. Okay, so Notion, you can create a header. You can have a little icon and your little title. So we're gonna change this to merch. March wrap up. I'm gonna change my cover. There to go. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, that's gonna be March. For our icon, I think we're gonna do a little leaf. Let's do a little herb. No, we'll do a leaf fluttering in the wind. I love it. I'm excited already. Let's see. March. What are my goals? I need to like sit with this and think about it for a minute. <laughs> okay, aside from the four things I talked about before, I only added two more things. I just added that I wanted to finish the first draft of my book, and I also want to post one video a week to this channel. Um, those are both content creation goals. I was trying to think of other goals, and I honestly just don't want to force it. I think maybe as I think of stuff, um, I'll add it to this list, but like right now, I just don't want to like force goals because it might not be something I'm happy happening i also didn't do my little journal thing um i have been trying to do good notes and do like a little bit of journaling and kind of discover what i want so i might do that later and see if i end up adding more goals to this list but for now let's move on to the calendar so i still have my ceramics class it actually got extended finishing march 21st um which is great so we i still have that going on throughout the Mar end of march um is there any holidays in March? I don't think so. No daylight savings starts this month. Gross. Yeah. Well, that's it for our wrap up, our goal setting, and our calendar. Did I say I was going to do favorites first or last? Let's just do it now. So first favorite I have is this little guy. I got this from Ikea. I have been wanting to get reusable cotton pads. I actually have one in here that I actually used this morning worry about it um these are like made out of like a cotton i would say it's like a cotton terry like a really fine terry cloth and they come in like a whole pack and i needed a little container to put it in and i got these this container at ikea for like 5.99 so cheap and it fits my cotton rounds perfectly inside and it's just so aesthetically perfect to sit on my vanity i love it second favorite which is actually, this is, of the, of the favorites, these two the things are the only tangible <laughs> items. Um, this is a little, like, hydro flask, cozy, koozie. Uh, my friend, Simsaf, she uses one for, like, the tall skinny cans for, like, Celsius's and Alani News. I don't drink those, um, but I do like to drink Alipops. Don't like it's just so cold to hold in your little fingers and they get they don't stay cold. But what this guy is is like this piece comes off, you can slide your drink in, and then you put this piece on. I didn't even know they made cozies for this size can, but I was at TJ Maxx and I saw it in like the water bottle area and I was like, oh my god, they have a little mini one for little cats. And it's perfect. I love it so much. It's like comfortable to hold and it keeps your drink nice and cool and sometimes i'll use this as a cup and i'll like put this on the bottom and this will just be like a cup that has like a little foot butt thing <laughs> another favorite of february has been and like something that's been like i look forward to literally every week is my cafe writing sessions i go to a local cafe i think i talked about this in the last wrap up but i go to a cafe and i just like write and I it's like my writing moment and I zone out and I write my book and I love it so much at the end of like my hour and a half that I'm there sometimes two hours I don't want to leave I want to stay there forever <laughs> maybe one day I'll be able to just like write in a cafe all day long but until now once a week in the morning and it's literally the best thing of best part of my week for sure all right i'm gonna break out my ipad and i'm just gonna talk to you guys about some youtubers that i really vibe with and we can kind of look at their pages together okay i talked about her in literally the vlog before this video but holly bay fitness oh i love her she 
is one of my faves for sure i love her channel so much i feel like this is different than like showing you like screen shots but she obviously is like a fitness content creation person she is from manchester i believe i feel like she's so honest with her creation with her like workouts and her lifestyle and i appreciate that so much and it's like inspir inspiring to me sometimes i see some like fitness girlies and i just feel like i can't relate to this person at all and i like find no inspiration based on what they're telling me but for some reason holly b i can and i love her so so much and plus she is training to run a marathon since 2020 i've been on this like running journey and so she's been inspiring inspire me to want to get into my runs more and run more often which is great so i love holly b definitely check her out she's kind of like a smaller youtuber but her content is like a plus 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 other fave and her name is cozy k i believe yeah cozy k she's um, got makes cozy like gaming and lifestyle videos. She does like Stardew Valley gameplays um, But I actually got the idea to do like the hobby vlog from her her hobby vlogs are way cozier than mine But like look at her thumbnails like how aesthetic they are Ugh. She's just her content is cozy like she nailed it her <laughs> She nailed her aesthetic like on the head she actually is also a twitch streamer which i did not know um and she's actually quite quite a large twitch streamer so i need to catch her on twitch sometimes but i love her hobby vlogs so 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 much she is definitely like a comfort youtuber of mine same with holly um been loving their stuff so 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 much i've also been really interested and it's not a youtuber it's watching i guess it is this one person g7 r can they upload these videos that are n sync full choreography videos <laughs> uh, and they basically like clipped all of their like live performances music videos all together into one so it's like the entire choreography um, in this video and it so it like flows all together and it's been really making me want to learn their choreography so okay last of the favorites i think i'm gonna share some music favorites which honestly i've been kind of listening to the same shit all right now that i'm thoroughly exhausted let's talk about books baby the reason why we're all here really is to talk about books i felt like february was a big funky funk for me in terms of books and reading i finished love and other words technically in february but i feel like after that i was just like when this weird rut i read jasper Vale by devney perry because i was really really excited about that i love the eden series so 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 much she actually posted this little like teaser on her instagram teasing the last book with mateo and i lost my mind <laughs> i simply lost my mind and then lastly i read daisy jones and the six recap on all three of those books because i only read three this month i have mixed emotions on this one a part of me is a little disappointed and i know that's really controversial because so many people love this they say this is their favorite like romance book of all time this hurt to read <laughs> it hurt me uh in a good way i don't know i i love loved elliot so 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 much i love that it took place in the bay area that's where i'm from so i felt like very connected to the scene i just don't understand how he didn't know how do you not know i don't want to spoil anything if you haven't read this but i feel like everybody has read it by now but i don't know there's like just parts of me that like don't understand and i'm just like i really hate the conflict that happened I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to say what it is because it will just like spoils that like cliff, that like plot twist that happens. But it's like one of my least favorite events that happened in books. I just don't like it. I don't like it all. 
let me know your guys thoughts if you read love in other words did you actually love it if you did like what what made you love it so much maybe i need to be convinced <laughs> next i read jasper vale i actually read this on my kindle um loved it four stars honestly the eden series i don't think i gave five stars to any of the books maybe i give it to indigo ridge i can't remember but i feel like all of them i've given like four stars jasper vale was so good i eloise is definitely my favorite of the siblings so i was most excited to read hers and i could i feel like i just like relate to her the most i loved what happened i loved the twist i love that devney perry doesn't have like third out conflict that the conflict happens like right at the end of the book and then it's resolved and then it's over and so it's like you don't have to like have this like 30 percent of the book lull where you're like okay what's what else is there to read you know jasper vale is the fourth book in the series and it's about eloise who is the youngest daughter yes she's the youngest daughter she runs the hotel and she ends up marrying this guy in vegas like randomly one day and like regrets it and she's worried that her parents aren't gonna give her the hotel because she wants to own it finding that like he needs her and she needs him and they think that they can like have this like fake marriage to make it look like they have this like functioning relationship so it's kind of like fake marriage <laughs> it's marriage for convenience fake dating slash marriage um it's also close proximity a little bit like grumpy sunshine for sure i don't like that the name of the book is named after the guy this is the only one that is like that and i don't like that about the book so daisy jones and the six is about a band and i think it's in the 70s the band in the 70s it honestly my hair looks like i could be in daisy jones and the six with this haircut the book is written by in like a documentary format where it has like somebody that says daisy i saw billy for the first time and he was hot and then it'll be like billy daisy pisses me off you know it's like kind of written like that so it's super super fast paced it goes by really fast it's really interesting um i loved karen so much karen's my favorite karen's storyline throughout it was one of my favorites i did not like daisy jones <laughs> she was pissing me off the whole time but i'm really excited to watch the show it just made me more excited to watch the show i ended up giving it four stars i love taylor jenkins read writing i think still my favorite is evelyn hugo and then malibu rising tbr for march i only read three out of six books for my february tbr but i think i need to just change my outlook on tbrs and have it be like a source of inspiration to when i'm like hmm what do i want to read i'm like oh let me look at my tbr and see what i thought about reading and maybe that could help me first thing which is a book i'm currently reading at right now is the things we hide from the light from lucy score i'm really close to finishing it i think i am i'm 76 percent of the way through the second book is about nash which is knox's brother knox was from the first book small town in virginia nash is like the chief of police there's like an event that happens from the first book that he is recovering from in the second book and this woman comes to town her name is lena and she and knox uh used to date in college so there's like this extra dramatic layer she's also just like really good friends with knox now like they don't have any romantic tension whatsoever but her and nash like start getting close they have this like really like butting head tension 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 i'm liking the first one better so far again i'm not finished with the second one but i think i'm liking the second the first one better but i'll talk to you about that in my march wrap up the next one on my tbr is in a jam by kate canterbury i believe this by, by this i believe this girly pop inherits like a tulip farm or some shit from her grandmother <laughs> only in books i swear um i think this is on kindle unlimited so i might read it after things we hide from the light fine print by lauren asher i think the third book just came out so this is a little series so depending on how i like this book i might want to just like continue this series this month i think they're all on kindle unlimited which is great i also threw in two books that i've had physically i threw in akatar this is also a series i've been seeing where people talk about this again and 
my friend Missy really loves this book and she really wants me to read it. So I might pick this up and read it as well. This is about like a girl who kills a wolf and then she's taken to this magical world um, and there's just like all this drama that happens. That's all. I don't really know what happens. <laughs> that's my that's my synopsis of the book. And then Magnolia Park is also on my TBR. Again, I've heard some stuff about this. I heard it's like a, a British gossip girl, just like toxic relationship stuff. I don't like how giant the font is inside the book, but maybe they'll just make it easier to read. We'll see. Those are on my physical TBR and I have them. I have like a little bookend moment on my desk. That's it, everybody. That is the monthly wrap up i hope you enjoyed let me know what you're looking forward to in march let me know what books you're gonna read in march i'm i'm trying to have march be a little more like alive than february february felt like super funky to me personally thank you for watching if you made it this far and you're not subscribed please change the change that get that button clicked subscribe join me on my little journey here i'd love to have you until next time thank you so much for watching Bye bye